I think we're all being generous here today. 0.5. Let's say that 3%. So 3% of everybody that sits in a meeting understands what you're saying. Yes, I understand that they don't have to advertise to get a customer. Yes, you are a better customer if I don't have to pay to get you. You own a major company. You spend thousands of dollars up front to try to get someone to say yes to your service, or you have ACN bringing you customers at no cost. What's a better customer for you as a company? The no cost ones, mm -hmm. right or wrong. The ones that are just coming through websites without you having to advertise or telemarket or pay uh, pensions and pay workman's comp and all the, right or wrong. So 3% of people that are sitting in the PBR are going, uh-huh, I get it. Yep, mm -hmm, yep, disruptors of the industry, I got it. Just like Uber did the cab business, Airbnb did the, to the, to the <laughs> hospitality industry, just like Amazon did the retail world. There's only 3% of the people in the living room that are going, mm-hmm, yep, I get it. 97% of everybody in that living room is me. Average everyday person. Does that make sense? And when we start talking ETL and RD and seven points and cab bonuses and 499 and global expansion, do you realize you're only talking to this? The rest of us are going, I have no idea what's going on here right now. <laughs> I have no idea. And for our first six years, we were doing presentations and we were trained through education that smart people are rich. Mm -hmm. And so I tried to pontificate the global expansion <laughs> of deregulation. <laughs> so I was only talking to this. These people were like, you got a brochure, which is a nice way of saying, I don't even know what you just said, right? And so my mentor was like, Patrick, how do you get 100% of people? You know how you get 100% of people? Make it simple. If you don't talk simple, you don't talk to everybody. So, six years into the business, we had a single mom that came in and we booked so many homes.